Okay then folks, I uh, bought the coefficients in for this day state range master. I'm going to confirm it because I've got a, a target set up at uh, 24 yards. I'm going to see what uh, the actual coefficiency is. Okay, so I'm on target because I've got chronograph cell just behind the brick. I'm going to fire several shots and uh, we'll see what the average is. Didn't pick it up that time. Uh, I'll zoom in. About eight point eight. That's that's a big difference. Chop top, I'm going to top the rifle up. Okay, I've topped the rifle up. Nine point three. Nine point three. I just lose quite a lot of energy. So averaging 11.7 at the muzzle, 24 yards. See, I've not weighed any of these. That will make a difference, but if I take the average. Nine point two. Nine point two. Nine point three. Probably average is going to be about nine one nine two, maybe. Last one. Nine Oof. point five. Okay then, I'll go and get the average. And then when I've got the average, that's what I'm going to use for the coefficiency B C and then I will we'll check that with the pyramid air chart. I'll show you what to do. Because every rifle is slightly different at different ranges and things. But for this rifle, this will be its BC. Okay. Average 9.2, that's what I was going to put anyway. Uh, let's see what that is feet per second. It's got an average of uh, 509 feet per second, and the average at the muzzle is uh, 575. So we'll do the BC based on that. Okay then folks, uh, this is a view 
on screen of uh, some of the screenshots from doing the test so as you can see here at the muzzle with the air arms f200 using they say range master sovereign pellets at 15.89 grains not weighed but go by average we got an average of 575 feet at the muzzle and that gave us an average of 11.7 foot pounds at the muzzle so then going out to uh, 24 yards that gave us an average of 9.2 foot pounds at the muzzle so about two and a half foot pounds of some energy it loses just over 24 yards so feet per second then we'll be basing it on 509 feet per second at 24 yards so what i need to do now is go onto the pyramid here website and uh, get the app up and that should give us a reading between those two figures okay so i've now bought the web page up which is pyramidair.com uh, forward slash widgets forward slash and what we're looking for now is ballistic coefficient so we click on that velocity at near distance velocity at far distance okay so the near distance is an average of 575 the far distance is an average of 509 near distance zero at the muzzle far distance 24 yards calculate bc and it is 0 0.024606 and that is the figure I'll be putting into the app on the Arkansas and based on that we'll see how close it is to where it needs to be so those figures will be now put into the Arkansas app like I say if you want to do this yourself you need to have a chronograph to read the results at whatever distance you're going to test this at. Like I say, I've tested this at 24 yards. And that's, uh, that's how I'll be doing it. Okay, I'm now on the Ballistic app. Just going on to where it says sample data. And we'll go down. Uh, if you can see there, Zero distance for 24 yards, scope, height, that's from the centre of the barrel to the centre of the scope, which is 2 inches. It's first focal plane, means of angle, this is quarter of an inch. Bullet length, 0 0.26 inches, calibre 2.2. Two. Bullet weight, pellet weight, 15.89 grains. Now, the ballistic coefficient that I put down is what they say it is at day state, but it wasn't that. Not through, uh, not through the uh, air arms two two. So they've got it down as zero point zero two nine, when it should be zero point zero two four six oh six. That's the full information there. Uh, Muzzle velocity was 575, which is all right. So I'm just going to click save. So that's updated the coefficient. So if you go to ballistic table, let's see what it's saying at 24 yards. It's actually saying uh, 
energy 10 foot pounds which was 9.2 so it's slightly out based on that so I can't say anything else really uh, see 9 uh, is at 34 yards so there's something that's not quite right yet uh, what it could be is the anything to do with humidity or that kind of thing but I don't think it'll affect it like that much uh, but what I'll do I'll leave it as it is and we'll see how it performs I mean I've got it set for 100 and 20s there's no way it's going to be six foot pound at 120 yards uh, let's go back a minute uh, go for me distances it's on the settings here clicked on the settings at the top of that screen start distance Five yards. I'm going to put this to seventy yards. So not really be shooting above that. We'll just have to see how it works. So that's the information in there. So what I need to do now is uh, turn the scope on and uh, upload the information to the scope. So I'll do that next. So there's not enough information here on how to use this app. Probably something they need to work on. Okay, I've switched the uh, scope on. If you look to the top right, you can actually see where the uh, Bluetooth's on. So now if I go to the Ballistics app, because it's connected to the Bluetooth, you can see the little paper airplane at the top. You press on that. Now it's uploading to the screen on the scope. And it actually says it in the scope. And it's now uploaded so you can do this kind of thing you can upload the app as many times as you like i mean if you've got varying conditions like temperature humidity and all that you just upload it for the conditions so that is all you need to do basically to upload the information but uh i'll, I'll keep it with this and, and we'll see how it performs